you know, Malcolm, a lot of times in Hollywood, we see that when you have um, child actors, the dynamic with their parents shifts because the child actor is becoming famous, they're making all the money. The parents, uh, for lack of a better way to put it, become employees, but that was definitely not your reality. Um, it seemed like your parents were very intentional about staying and remaining your parents. You know, what do you think it was that allowed them to do that? And, and why did they have that mindset to make sure that that dynamic never changed? Sure. Um, well, my, my mother, um, as my manager, uh, was very clear that she was an employee. Like, we had a contract. Uh, mm-hmm. So she was very clear on that. Uh, but that had no... Um, uh, that had, had no influence on the fact that she was still the mama, <laughs> right? And so she became my manager by default because, again, like I, you know, I, I wasn't groomed for this business, right? It was just something. It was a hobby, something to keep me out of trouble. So once Cosby hit, it became a career, uh, and then we had to, you know, take things seriously. So, uh, so the the business approach was always the business, um, but because we were always focused on life after Cosby, right? Like my mother, would, you know, when, when the show first hit, my mother had sat me down and said, listen, baby, it's great that this show is the phenomenon that it is, but this show could be over next year. What are you going to do when the show's over? I can type, I can always get a job, but what are you going to do when the show's over? So, uh, for, so, so, so two things to your question. I think for a, a lot of kids who just kind of go wayward, uh, and, and go off the you know the wrong path. It's usually because the parents are not parenting, right? So if the kid is, and a lot of times the parents are living vicariously through the kid. So if the parent has gone Hollywood, then there's no one there to give the kid direction. Um, so my mother, who again, you know, we lived every year of the show as if it was the last year because we just didn't know. So because she was always, um, you know, impressed upon me the importance of what was happening down the line and not just with this show, there wasn't really, uh, there wasn't really space to just be like, hey, I'm chilling because I'm on TV and this is forever. It was always like, okay, when this show is over, um, what do I do to stay involved in this industry? Because I knew uh, the transition from being seen as child kid, child, you know, star to being taken seriously as an adult would not necessarily be a smooth transition so i was directing um you know i was i was constantly looking at how do i keep this machine moving so there wasn't really time to you know to to be on some star shit (laughs) will smith um in his biography he said something really fascinating about the difference between being music famous and being tv famous and one thing you said about being TV famous is that the people that watch you on TV, they start to look at you like you're really a part of their family, like you're their friends, like we really know you, right? And so because it's called The Cosby Show and the dynamic is family, people get to thinking that Bill Cosby's really your dad. Like <laughs> see, These are really your parents. And you had you said something very interesting to me in an interview once where you talked about um, I think the interviewer asked you, was Bill Cosby your hero? And you were like, no, my parents were my heroes. Yeah. Were your parents ever offended or did they take issue with the fact that people really thought that Bill Cosby and Felicia Rashad were raising you? <laughs> right. Not at all. No. Okay. <laughs> Not at all. Yeah, in, in, any kind of identity crisis had to deal with other people and not us, right? Like, you know, Ennis, uh, you know Mr. Cosby's son, uh, that was my dude. Right, like we were close friends, so we go out and people be like, "Hey, you're Bill Cosby's son," and we would just laugh because, like, no, actually, that's that's really Bill Cosby's son. <laughs> so yeah, so that was never that was never uh, an issue for uh, you know for any of us. Were were there times because the show got so big and it became one of the most legendary television shows of all time? Were there times where you were actually tired of being on the show? Mm. or tired of being in the Cosby bubble you know what I mean right no because I was well one I was you know I was still doing theater 
Um, and, you know, the acting roles that I was, you know, um, choosing were roles that were different from Theo. So as an actor, I was still able to go, I was able to go do work that wasn't necessarily paying a whole lot of money because I had this gig, you know, that was paying me. Um, so I had that. And I think by the time we got to uh, our last season, season eight, uh, I think I think that was the point where we were we were all ready to move on, um, but we all collectively were ready to move on. Keisha actually wanted to go to school, you know, because she had spent her whole life with tutors, so she actually wanted to you know to go off to school. Um, you know, Felicia, uh, you know, had uh, had Felia. She wanted to you know just be a mom for a bit. So by the by season eight, we were all ready to. To, to move on, but it was a collective, we're ready to move on. I don't know if you've seen it, but um, uh, the A Different World, that cast, like, they had a whole reunion special that was, I believe, on Peacock, and uh, recently they were on Red Table Talk. Do you think we will ever see the Cosby cast? Um, I know it would be minus one, maybe. Um, the Cosby cast reunite in a similar fashion to be celebrated, because everybody knows you guys have been through a lot. Um, with all the um, news and controversy and everything that went on with Bill Cosby, it has not really allowed you all to be celebrated. Is this something that you think will happen? Is it something that you would like to see happen? Mm. I don't know. Um, I, and I think because because if we were to do it, um, you know, even if we do it minus one, there's still the elephant in the room. So it's either, you know, you can't talk about it, you can't not talk about it, right? So it kind of, so to, to do a reunion like that and to celebrate that show without him would probably be strange. And we, and because we all have our, you know, we all have our personal relationships with each other. Um, so it's not necessarily important for us. I guess for us, it's not, it's not necessarily important for the world to see our relationships with each other. You know, we do it. We, we, we do have relationships with each other. We are, we're all mad cool. Um, we talk, um, Yeah, so I don't, I, and, I, and I don't, and we've never talked about it. I don't know, I don't know if, I don't know if anybody has a desire to do that. Hmm. You know, I don't know. I don't, Were I, you I ever? These other shows. No, go ahead. No, go ahead. Finish your thought. You said you look at the other, these other shows. I, 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 look, I look at all these other shows and all these reboots and go, man, we could have made a lot of money. <laughs> 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 right, I'm, t- I'm saying, Man. I'm saying, oh, you know, F- Fuller House, they're doing their thing. <laughs> the Connors, <laughs> man, we could be making the killing right now. <laughs> well, I, I mean, I guess to that end, I mean, it's 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 natural and it's human, but you know, were you ever resentful because you have you know one person who. Um, has impacted the lives, impacted you guys' lives in the way this show was seen. Like for me, I, I still watch the Cosby Show. It does not bother me to watch it. I don't think about anything else. But this was a good, this was a good ass show. Like, yeah, and I'm entertained yeah. by it. But were you ever resentful because you just mentioned like nostalgia's big right now? Yeah. There's a second window for a lot of things. And yeah. were you ever resentful toward Bill Cosby because? it sort of changed some things about how people viewed the show and maybe impacted you guys financially. Was there ever any resentment? Um, no. Um, and, and, and not resentment, not resentment because it just it, it drove home uh, hmm. like I get how this business works for one um and 
there are so many, just that whole situation is so, it's so layered, man. Um, and, you know, I'll never say anything, um, you know, and, and, and whatever, whenever I talk about it, like, you know, I don't, I, I, I can't defend him or his actions at all. Um, but I also can't throw him under the bus completely because I have an understanding of, of, of all of the layers. Like it's so complex and there's so many shades of gray um, that most people will never get. So I think for me, yes, there is the piece of um, uh, financial hit that we all took. But also, it hasn't really affected my career, right? Like again, to go back from the from 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 the very beginning, we set up, you know, we, my, you know, me, my mother, my my my, my team, uh, we set up this life after the show, so my life would not be dependent upon that show, uh, or dependent upon Theo. So it. I mean, trust me, it it truly sucked to watch the the ship go go down the way it went down. Um, but like you and like people, like I understand people, I understand you know why some people can't watch the show. But like you and like people who still watch the show, um, even myself, like the show is the show. Like this was such a uh, it's a timeless show. It's uh, uh, an iconic show, still an important show. Um, the effect that it had on um, Black people worldwide uh, can never be taken away, right? So there's, there's still so much to be proud of in terms of that legacy. But at the same time, you know, I had moved, I'd moved on a long time ago. You know, and mm. I make the joke about, hey, we could be making a whole lot of money right now by doing a, a reboot. But, 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 even if all if none of this went down, we probably still wouldn't have done a reboot because, like, what Mr. Cosby said was, we said everything that we had to say. So I don't even know if that lane would really, uh, would have really been a viable lane, regardless. Uh, you know, the, the, as I watch the show now, I realized the brilliance of the show was that it managed to be a very relatable show to everybody, but it was a Black show. It's like, nobody ever watched the Cosby show and was like, oh, they're not Black. You know, people used to talk that they don't relate shit and like, oh, these ain't how really Black people really are. But I, nobody Black ever watched that show and said like, these people ain't Black. Like, they were like, that's my cousin. Theo is my cousin. <laughs> so straight up. So I, I think that's like the brilliant hidden layer of the show.